Um, so why is it diversity important to us? I mean, obviously we're a global firm operating in a global marketplace. And we know that we will be stronger as a firm if we have a diverse workforce which represents the communities in which our clients work across the world. So our sort of key focus areas um, are growing our junior talent, ensuring that our women progress through our firm at the most senior levels. And in order to do that, you know, we have to make sure that the men understand what the challenges are in, in making sure that women can progress. And we also need to ensure that you know, our senior leadership is wholly committed to, the, to diversity. Um, obviously, there's no silver bullet. We all know that. Otherwise, we wouldn't be sitting in this room, I suspect, that solves the challenges. But I did want to highlight one particular initiative which we feel um, has had a significant impact. And we call it our vice president uh, initiative. Mentorship and apprenticeship is very key to our culture and I think is very strong in the junior population. And we have a number of initiatives at the junior level to build uh, the pipeline. Uh, we have an A-level girls program, so we invite pre-university uh, girls to come and spend a day at the firm, uh, wandering around the firm, looking at the trading floor, having some, they, they play a trading game actually, um, and they really get a sense as to what it would be like to work at Goldman Sachs and the variety of jobs uh, that we have available. We have a female trader academy where uh, we really try and upskill and prepare female students uh, for future trading roles. And then for the associate women, we have a women's career strategies initiative, which is really a coaching and professional development opportunity for our associate women as they work towards VP. Uh, but in 2012, we recognised, interestingly, that in promotion discussions that we were having about women moving from vice president to managing director, there were just fewer advocates and sponsors for women. So we heard men really advocating strongly for men, but for some reason we weren't hearing men or women actually advocating for women to move to that level. And this really coincided with research, which I'm sure many of you've seen, which showed that sponsorship accelerates career trajectory, but men are 46% more likely than women to have a sponsor. And men seem to be able to find sponsors sort of more informally than women. So the sponsorship relationships are initiated with one-to-one -one meetings. Between, and so it's, it's a tri-party um, initiative. So we have somebody in my team in HR who is responsible for the woman who is on the programme. We have their manager involved and then we appoint a senior sponsor. And that senior sponsor is sort of within their kind of management chain but more senior so it is somebody who knows what they're doing uh, and who can advocate for them. So what do our results look like? So 91% of the women managing director promotes since 2012 have been participants in this initiative and we've seen the number of women managing directors grow by 14% since 2012 when the initiative started. We have about 50 vice president women who participate each year and it's typically those women are promoted in our next cycle so actually we only promote managing directors every two years so uh, typically women who are in year one or year two of the initiative then get promoted i think there were three critical success factors the first was around accountability so this program was launched by our ceo and has ongoing sort of sponsorship from our existing CEO, uh, Richard Nodder. And he, alongside our diversity committee, really have oversight of all of the participants' progress. There's also a regular dialogue with the manager and the sponsors. So my HR team pick up regularly with the managers and the sponsors to check in to make sure that the manager and the sponsor are talking, <coughs> that the sponsor obviously is spending some time with the participant and that they are all working together to make sure that this woman's career continues to uh, develop. Training was also very important. So we had training for the sponsors, the managers and participants all separately. The participants, we really talked about how they could best leverage their sponsor. And we, we really defined the role you know, pretty carefully to make sure that people understood that this was about sponsorship 
not mentorship, because the two are very different. And then the third critical success factor, I think, was the selection of the sponsors. We really needed to get the buy-in from the business around which women should be in this program um, and how they could you know, best be developed.